this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me today for another demonstration. We're going to be using stencils and the acrylic paints and also um, alcohol ink. Um, so we need our gel press, brayer um, and we need our photocopy paper and then our card to take the print. Now the colours we're going to be using today, um, I think we're going to go with the Antarctic and we'll go with China and what colour shall we do? Um, let's go with the eggplant I think. Okay so I'm just going to pop a little of this down and then the Antarctic on the other side and I'm just going to blend those down and together. I don't want a definite line down the middle so I'm just going to blend that a little better. Okay, that's perfect. So taking our stencil now, I'm going to just pop that over the top and then rollering that over the top I'm just going to take the all the excess um, paint off on the areas that are more exposed and I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure I'm not too worried about the edge it's quite nice leaving that. Okay, so now I'm going to pop down on our mat a little bit of eggplant in the alcohol ink and then taking our smoothie and then I'm going to just dab that over the top And a little bit more. Just working my way over the top and this gives us a really nice effect okay so we just take that off I'm going to pop that in some water over there And then we're going to pick the white to go over the top to pull the image off. So that should be dry by now. It's not shiny anywhere, so that tells me it is dry. Now we don't need a lot. Just take that over the top. Now I can still see that stencil coming through and the colour underneath and that's perfect for taking a print. That's nice and thin. 
but bearing in mind we don't get much time to take a print because it's the paint is thin it will dry out quick and if it's dry it won't take the print so the layer of acrylic paint will actually activate the underneath and that's what helps pull the image off. Okay, so let's have a look, see what we've got. And there we have our background and that's fabulous colours in that are really nice. I think on both sides actually the blue works well but so does the white underneath and the eggplant in the background there it just almost outlines that stencil pulls, pulls the image out so much more so that's just another way of creating a background so I'll let that dry off completely and then think about what I'm going to actually do with this uh, whether I want to leave it as it is or whether I want to stamp over okay so I'm going to just trim this down And then pick a couple of stamps. So first of all I'm going to ink up our mushroom, our wooden, I think it's the woodland mushroom, uh, in archival. So just make sure that you have got that covered. And we're going to just Bob that down about there. Give that a good press. And then we're going to stamp our little fairies either side of the mushroom. This is little Darcy and Rory, so just going to pop that down. Good press, and the same with Darcy. another good press and now I'm going to create a mountain so a little hill should I say and we're just going to pop that need to be a little bit deeper actually so Okay, so um, colour wise, let's go with the chipped sapphire. This is the distress oxide, so the oxides go really well over the top of the acrylic paints. So I'm just going to smooth that in. You can get quite a solid colour with this. So I'm just making it a little bit more dense across the top. And let's see. 
what that looks like that's worked okay so now I'm going to just work my way around the edge I think the stencils make a really nice background for something like this um, especially when they're not too overpowering you know something light almost sort of out of focus so it looks like the two fairies looks like uh, Rory and Darcy are kind of amongst some lovely blue orchids. I'm just making this a little bit more dense put another layer over the top And that way it sort of pulls your eye into the centre. Okay, so let's pop the lid back onto that before we forget. So I'm not going to really do that much more to this. I think there's enough going on. I just want to add a little bit of glitter now. So using my glue pen, I'm just going to actually go over the top of the mushroom on this one here as well and then I'm just going to just dot down from the mushroom so it's like it's sprinkling some fairy dust underneath which is what the fairies are so intrigued by and then I'm just going to dot a little on the ground round by their feet as well So to be honest, when I sprinkle the glitter on the top, um, it might actually stick to some of this as well. Some of the finer glitter anyway. Um, but don't worry about that, I actually think it looks quite nice. So I'm just going to take that over the top. And let's just see where it sticks. Yeah, and that's, that's covered quite a nice area. I think that looks fab. I hope you can see that under the camera. It's a lovely sparkle. I always seem to go back to this colour. It's one of my favourites. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me today. Um, so, yeah, uh, hope to see you real soon. You take care, guys. Bye for now.